Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you a project that I just completed and I'm hoping you can see it. Um, it's paper flowers that I have put together for my mom. Her birthday is on Thursday. So, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. And basically it's a tin bucket and I've made 15 or so paper flowers and I thought you might like to see how that's done. Okay, so let's get started. Let's see if that's any better. It's in a tin bucket and um, I used the celebration papers paper pack. Um, so let me show you how to to make one of the flowers. And I'm going to try and zoom by hand to see. Is that a little better? And they're all in this bucket. Okay, for this project you're going to need, um, and this is the punch that I used. This is by EK Success. It's a large paper shapers punch, but Stampin' Up! does have a floral punch that will work just as well. You'll need some brads. Um, we have our paper. I'm going to use this green paper, the blue backside. Hopefully that'll show up. You need some florist wire and some florist tape and your trusty glue glue dots. So to do the stem, the first thing I did was I just took the florist wire and I bent it in half. Okay, and then I wrapped the stem. This might take me a minute to get situated. But I wrapped the stem. Let's see if I can get this under the camera. In the florist wire. And you know what? Don't worry. And the florist tape. Don't worry if it's kind of bumpy. Because it kind of gives it more of a stem quality. And you'll see I have a loop at the bottom. And that's to give our flower a bit more of a base, uh, something to attach it to. So we're just wrapping. I'm actually getting much quicker at this than when I began this project, so of course I've done 15 of them. Um, but it really doesn't take that long. And Florist tape and florist wire, like to give you an idea, I got a package of 32 pieces of wire for under $2, and the florist tape is about $1.49 or so. Okay, so see how I have that kind of paddle-ish looking head? That's fine. Just rip the tape and fold that over. And then on the bottom, you'll notice I didn't go all the way to the bottom. Um, I have styrofoam in my in my little tin bucket here, um, and it just makes it easier to poke it in. So you're going to take that and put it to the side. Then with your paper shapers punch and that really nice celebration paper, um, each flower is five. And with this punch, which doesn't happen with the Stampin' Up punches, so I can have so you can see how I can't move it. Stampin' up punches if this doesn't happen. But like I said, I didn't have that particular punch. And I wanted to do these flowers fairly easily. So you'll just not mind me punching my way out, so to speak. And EK Success does make Stampin' Up's punches, so. And yeah, they're, they're excellent quality. And let's see if we can get one more here in the corner. Five seems to be the best amount. Okay, so. And I don't necessarily want a green flower or a blue flower would do. Then you're just going to. Now, what I found is if you punch your hole through the middle of them when they're in a stack, then they're not laying as I would like. So I have the old crocodile, and all I'm going to do is take the smaller setting, which is this side, the smaller hole punch, and I'm going to punch a hole in the middle. 
like so in each of these flowers. Just makes it go a little bit easier. Now what we may not get to is the leaves. The leaves, um, and I'll show you those again. The leaves I cut out on my Cricut and I have the walk in the garden cartridge. Well, let's just let's use the blue side. So here's a blue brad, little blue brad. And all you do, just ever so simply, is thread the flowers so the colors are all facing the same way onto the brad. Lastly. And open the brad. Okay. I was very fortunate that my friend Candy stopped by today to pick up an order, and she helped me fluff the other 15 flowers. Oh, of course, the phone rings when I can't answer it. So you'll just turn my phone in. And then all I did was kind of shifted it around. Jeez Louise, that phone is really ringing. Okay. Okay, and you're just going to continue shaping. And this is what takes the longest, really. And then all you do is you take a glue dot, and what I did is I took the back of that flower and I stuck it right on the glue dot, peeled it up, you'll notice they all go back together again. I did kind of bend that a bit, see, kind of like in a hook shape. And then one thing I did You see how the back side of the flower is showing? I took the one inch circle, and I didn't do it on all of them, but I just punched some of the coordinating paper, and used a lot of glue dots for this project. And then I seared it with a glue dot, and adhered it to the back. So it would cover. And then you just have to fluff your flower some more. And then I did dress mine up quite a bit. Each one has the leaves and each one has ribbon. Oh, I popped it in. And on the bottom of my bucket, um, let's see. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this for you. Okay. So here's one in my bucket. There's a blue flower. You can see it. Same as we just did. Only underneath here I have tied a ribbon. And then we have the leaves that I cut from my Cricut. And then all of this, this is just the white, is just lace. And then I added some butterflies. Can you see them? So pretty and just did a whole bunch of them. So hopefully you can get this. It actually is very pretty in person. Hope it doesn't look like a mess. So, very simple project, very affordable. Two butterflies, two different butterflies. Um, and just wanted to say happy birthday, Mom. And I hope you like it. So give it a whirl. Pretty inexpensive. Um, don't fall for the temptation of the EK Success punch. It's not, a, you know, they do make Stampin' Up! punches, but I was just surprised that it would snag in the paper. But the results are really, really good. Here's a.